What's going on Guardians, it's Tizzle here. In today's video, we'll be showing how to beat the Velus Labyrinth Lost Sector located in the Forgotten Shore on the Cosmodrome. This is a Hive Lost Sector, meaning we have Unstoppable Ogres and Anti-Barrier Knights. The burn is Arc, meaning Arc damage both dealt and received is increased by 50%. For Shields, we have Arc Shielded Knights and Solar Shielded Wizards. We have Fire Pit, so Acolytes will spawn Fire Pools at their feet when defeated. And then we have the usual modifiers of match game, extra shields, lock loadout, and limited revives. With that all out of the way, let's take a look at the first build. So for the first build, we are on Void 3.0 Titan, running controlled demolition for big explosions from our ability kills. This is awesome for ad clear as lots of the enemies group up. And then we have offensive bulwark to lower our ability cooldowns when we have an overshield. For fragments, we have echo of remnants to make our vortex grenades last longer. Echo of Expulsion so that Void Ability Final Blows will cause enemies to explode. Echo of Exchange to get grenade energy when we get a melee kill. And lastly, Echo of Undermining so our Void Grenades can weaken enemies. For weapons, we have a Kinetic Bow for dealing with the Barrier Shields, a Solar Pulse Rifle for the Solar Shields and Unstoppable, and lastly, the Exotic Grenade Launcher Anarchy for the Champions and Boss. For Armor Mods, on the Helmet we have Melee Wellmaker to make a Void Well with a melee kill and then two Grenade Launcher Ammo Finder mods. On the gloves we have Font of Wisdom to give us tier 10 intellect when we pick up a Void Elemental Well, and then Piercing Bowstring and Unstoppable Pulse Rifle. For the chest piece we have the exotic Heart of Inmost Light to get our abilities back much quicker and empower them. We have Elemental Ordinance to make a Void Well when we get a Grenade Kill. And then we have Thermal Shock Plating and Concussive Dampener for survivability. On the boots we have Grenade Launcher Ammo Scavenger to help us get more Anarchy Ammo when we pick up a Brick. And on the mark, we have Lucent Finisher to get heavy ammo when we finish a champion. We also have Bomber to get grenade energy back when we put down our barricade. And that is pretty much it for the build. So now, let's talk about the Lost Sector. If you're a veteran of Destiny 2, you'll know that this Lost Sector used to be one of, if not the best, to farm. One of my first videos on this channel was how to speedrun this Lost Sector. I used a shotgun with unstoppable shotgun and a Warmind Cell build. It was super fun. I was doing master runs in under 3 minutes, so it was a very good farm. But now, sadly, this lost sector sucks. From doing these guides on every lost sector, for the legend versions, anything over 4 minutes isn't that good of a farm. Sub 4 minutes is a decent farm. So that is kind of the benchmark. And the longer ones this season have been about 5 minutes. And the quicker ones were about 3 minutes. Well, this run on my titan takes 6 minutes. And the others aren't much better. I will show the hunter run where I died twice just because it was actually faster than my flawless run by about a minute. So much of this lost sector is now RNG which is super annoying. When you're trying to farm, you don't want RNG. You want predictable, consistent. And sadly, this lost sector is the opposite of that now. In the opening area, you have to shoot 3 runes to get to the tunnel. There is always a rune where the first knight spawns, and then there is one in the hallway which you can see at the 48 second mark of this video or sometimes it will be on a wall in a different hallway, and then there is usually one in the blue room. But sometimes these blow up from rockets or the cursed thrall, so sometimes you don't even know which ones you have hit, so you aren't sure where to look. This is extremely annoying. I wish they always spawned in a set spot, and eventually you do learn all of the spawns, but it just really isn't worth it in my opinion. Then you get to the hallway and the adds will come in at all different random times. Sometimes you get a good spawn and can shred through them all very quickly, and other times they will file in one by one. And then you get to the boss room, and even if one ad is alive and hiding, the other ads won't spawn in. So you have to hunt it down and kill it and then get the next wave of ads until finally the boss spawns in and you can take him out and grab the chest. It is sad to say it, but this is the worst lost sector to farm this season. The good news is, the other Cosmodrome lost sector is now the best to farm, with 3 minute master runs being very easily achievable. But yeah, this one now sucks to farm. Bungie, look how you massacred my boy. It's truly sad to see. But props to Bungie I guess for making it unique and true to the name Labyrinth, cause this lost sector certainly feels like a maze sometimes. With that being said, I would just steer clear of this one for now, I will let the rest of the run play out and see you for the hunter build.
For the Hunter, we have Void 3.0 with Vanishing Step and Stylish Executioner. We have Echo of Undermining so our Vortex Grenades can weaken enemies. Echo of Remnants to make our Vortex Grenades last longer. Echo of Starvation so we can proc Devour from picking up an Orb of Power. And Echo of Leeching to allow our melee kills to proc Health Regeneration. For weapons, we have the Hung Jury Scout Rifle for dealing with Barrier Shields. The Enigma Void Glaive for chewing through adds. And Galahorn for shredding through champs, adds, and the boss. This thing does it all. On the helmet, we have Volatile Flow for volatile rounds when we pick up a Void Well. We also have Rocket Launcher, Ammo Finder, and Harmonic Siphon to allow our Glaive projectiles to make orbs so we can proc Devour. On the gloves, we have Elemental Ordinance to make a Void Well from a Grenade Kill. We also have Unstoppable Glaive and Anti Barrier Scout. We have the Exotic Chess Piece 6 Coyote for double dodges. We also have Reaping Wellmaker to make a Void Well when we get a Weapon Kill after we dodge and then double thermal shock plating for survivability. On the legs, we have Font of Might to boost our Glaive projectile damage when we pick up a Void Well, and we have Rocket and Glaive Scavenger on. On the mark, we have Suppressing Glaive so we can go invis when we get a Glaive kill because it activates Stylish Execution, and Lucent Finisher so we can get a Heavy Brick when we finish a champion. That is it for the build, enjoy the run.
Lastly, we have the Warlock. For this build, we were on Top Tree Solar as I wanted to mix things up. We were running a Blinding Grenade Launcher to stun the adds, the Exotic Bow Trinity Ghoul for amazing ad clear and for barrier champs, and the Hothead Rocket Launcher with Explosive Light. On the helmet, we have Font of Wisdom to give us Tier 10 Intellect when we pick up an Elemental Well. We also have Rocket Launcher Ammo Finder. On the gloves, we have the Exotic Sun Bracers to give us a bunch of Solar Grenades whenever we get a melee kill. Note, this has to be a charged melee kill. We also have Piercing Bowstring and Bolstering Detonation to get Rift Energy back when we deal damage with a grenade. On the robes, we have Thermoshock Plating and Concussive Dampener, as well as Melee Wellmaker to make a well when we get a melee kill. On the boots, we have Radiant Light for plus 20 to our strength, Rocket Launcher Scavenger for more ammo, and Invigoration for melee energy when we pick up an Orb of Power. On the bond, we have Inferno Whip to allow our solar melee to stun unstoppables. We have Well of Life for constant health regen when we pick up a solar elemental well, and Double Bomber to get grenade energy when we put down a rift. This build is pretty fun, but you should have Arc Siphon on the helmet so that you can make orbs of Trinity Ghoul to take advantage of explosive light on your rocket. Otherwise, this build is pretty sound. But that is pretty much it for the video. I will let the rest of the run play out. If some of the mods didn't make sense to you, then feel free to check out my video breaking down how every mod in Destiny works. It is a very informative video. Sadly, this lost sector really sucks to farm now, but if this video still helped you out, then a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. Happy lost sector farming guardians, and take care.